Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome, and if you have returned, welcome back. Today we will be doing a review on the widely used, widely debated black box. Many have used these for years and many say that they would never use it. If you are a novice to the hobby like myself, should you buy it? Here's my experience. To start with, when you have such a powerful light, you need to make sure that the unit has breathing room. The black box does a great job at this. There are two fans stationed at the top of the light and vents along the side to ensure that it has proper air circulation, not to mention they are also very quiet. Next I found stationing the black box 12 to 14 inches above your tank allows for the best PAR readings. The light is able to hit pretty much every inch of my tank. The only downside to this is that the light heavily leaks out of my tank as well. However, since I have it stationed in the corner, it isn't too bad. This model is a 65 watt LED full spectrum. It contains 55 individual LED bulbs that are rich with blues, whites, reds, and yellows. These lights blend together pretty smoothly when they reach my tank. The biggest issue that I've experienced with the black box is definitely the mounting. Only thing that the light comes with are these four metal wire hangers and four metal hooks. This requires you to pretty much DIY a mount. I ended up purchasing two Exoterra heat lamp holders which were about, I would say about 10 bucks a piece and drilled four holes into them then mounted them on my wall. To keep the light in place, the lamps came with two rubber washers, so I put one on each side of the wire. The biggest uh, concluding question is, as an entry level LED light, does it support coral growth and would I recommend it? My tank is primarily stocked with LPS, which are more forgiving and a lot easier to grow. However, I have seen this light also grow SPS as well. The ability of this light can adequately provide what corals need for growth. I have personally experienced that. For the black box, my takeaway is this. As far as recommending this light, I would definitely recommend this light as an entry level, low costing light, especially if you're on a budget. Later on, you can always upgrade to something better, but at $99, you can't beat it. 